Hey guys, welcome back to the John Deere Garage. So in tonight's video, as it's getting dark, I'm going to be going over my 110 and some facts about it. So let's start. So this um, model tractor was introduced in 1963 as a round fender, which means the fenders were round instead of square. The round fender was made from 1963 to 1967. Those models included the 110, and the 112. And then in 1968 they introduced the square fender which is what you're looking at because the fenders are square. And they made the square fender from 1968 to 1974. The 110 and the 112. The factory for these tractors was in Horicon, Wisconsin, USA. The 110 and 112H, the H stood for hydraulic lift. Now let's get into engines. The engines these tractors used were either a 7 horsepower or an 8 horsepower Kohler. 7 horsepower is equal to 277 cc's and 8 horsepower is equal to 305 cc's. These are both one cylinder engines which means they only have one piston and they are gas powered. Now the chassis. The chassis is a 4x2 and the transmission is a two wheel drive. Um, I'm not quite sure what that means, maybe by like four feet long by two feet wide, I think. So now let's get into the steering. The steering on these tractors is manual. They didn't offer power steering until the 300 series in the late 80s, or the early 80s, sorry. And they continued with the power steering in the 300 series and the 400 series, actually, to like mid-90s, 92, I think. But now the brakes. The brakes are manual as well, which means that they are with a pedal. This tractor has um, brake bands on it instead of drum brakes like the 200 series. Or sorry, the 300 series does. The 200 series has drum brakes as well. Now the transmission is a three or four speed tranny with mechanical CVT, which means there's a little lever on the other side of the tractor. You can control how fast you go in each gear. Now the fuel tank holds a capacity of 1.9 US gallons or 7.2 liters. It's a very small gas tank. It is located under the hood right by the battery. Now the wheelbase is 44 inches or 111 centimeters weight of this tractor is 550 pounds dry, which means no mower deck or no wheel weights on it. Just the tractor. I obviously have a mower deck on mine right now. I wanted it on for the video, so I just went and threw it on real quick. Now the attachments for this tractor included a 38 inch mid-mount mower deck or 96 centimeters, which is what you're looking at right now. That is a 38 inch deck. It's really rough, that one. I gotta fix it before I use it. And it also included a 42 inch snow blade or a 36 inch snow blower. The snow blower is equal to 91 centimeters as well. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's your basic information um, for your 100 series, 110 and 112. All this information was found on mytractordata.com. It is a very helpful website. I recommend going to it to get your information. You can get information for all tractors, John Deere, Kubota, International Harvester, called Cadet, Massey Ferguson, Case. This That website also applies for garden tractors, lawn mowers, and big farm tractors. So thank you for watching guys. I hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe to the channel and comment and like. And we will see you in the next one. Stay tuned for more videos on the 110. Thank you.